Yeah, thank you very much. I'm Karen Johnson. I'm uh, working for Rice Processum. And uh, we shall see if I'm back here next year, if I follow uh, Jonas' shoes that well. Um, we have seen many, many th uh, quotes like this, uh, and I shall follow everybody else. Uh, Processum is uh, working with uh, forest raw material, and our uh, slogan is uh, that we follow is that everything we can produce from oil, we can also produce from the forest. And we saw the uh, oil age uh, uh, convert into the plant age earlier, so that was very nice to see. And uh, this is uh, how Processum, where Processum was born and uh, uh, how we're working at the minute. Uh, this is the site where we are at. It's about uh, 100k south from here. Uh, all of this that you can see on this picture used to be one company, Mordomsche AB, uh, traditional pulp and paper industry. Now, uh, thanks to uh, some great entrepreneurs in 99 where the company closed down. Uh, several companies uh, started up on the site. And you can see the, the traditional uh, pulp uh, factory at the back, where they now uh, produce uh, dissolving pulp. Uh, but we also have, uh, with these, um, all these companies, uh, you, you can see there's large companies, there's uh, small uh, SMEs of various sizes and also academia and research on the, on the site. So it's a very exciting uh, environment uh, to be at, uh, working at. Lots of things happening. And with all those companies, uh, of, there's also uh, lots of different uh, uh, products. Uh, and uh, with the, the cellulose, there's the bioethanol and uh, ethanol derivatives, uh, uh, and lignosulfonate, etc. And all of these also have uh, side uh, streams and uh, problems, and uh, we'd like to uh, really get involved in that and try to help companies to valorize their side products. So just uh, fast facts about Processum. Uh, so in 99, uh, they started up all these companies, and these companies then uh, found an, uh, a need for uh, another company called Processum. Uh, so in 2003, uh, Processum started as a technology park owned by these companies on site. And uh, by 2008, uh, we became a Vinvex initiative, uh, which is, uh, means that we got some funding from Vinova uh, and uh, started up uh, Processum as a buyer finder of the future. Uh, in 2013, uh, SP, the Technical Institute of Sweden, bought uh, Processum to 60%, still 40% by the companies. And in 2016, uh, there was a big merge and uh, we became uh, colleagues uh, of many more, of Inventia and uh, uh, ICT, Swedish ICT, and uh, now we are all RISE and Processum is a RISE subsidiary. We have about uh, 3 million uh, euro turnover and uh, we are about 30 people and about half of us has a, has a PhD. And as you see, you are this is the map of Sweden if you don't uh, yeah, recognize that. But uh, we're just south of here and we also have now recently uh, five people in, in Sundsvall. It's a bit further south. So this I have explained. Uh, it's just an illustration to remind you about. We're still owned by 20 member companies. And we belong to RISE. RISE you find throughout Sweden, uh, the entire Sweden. And uh, we belong to the same division as the previous speaker, the RISE Bioeconomy Division. And we have... Uh, uh, different sections in, in this uh, uh, division and uh, we interact with most of these uh, processum has uh, interest in, in most of these uh, sections. So this is the biorefiner of the future. Uh, biorefiner of the future is driven by processum and uh, most of the member companies you can see on this side uh, and the cluster 
also includes universities. And then you have uh, UMIO, uh, Mid Sweden University, Lulio, and uh, the Bio for Energies uh, collaboration with those, uh, and also SLU and uh, uh, OBO. And on this side, you have uh, governmental and uh, funding uh, bodies. And this is also how we uh, like to create our projects. So when we typically uh, start our projects, uh, we uh, try to include companies, universities, and governments. Uh, and our mission or assignment uh, that process them have uh, is that we should be a leading hub world leading re in the world leading region for development uh, and commercialization of biorefinery products and processes, green chemicals, uh, materials, etc. We also do other things. Uh, we uh, try to drive the innovation system in the region, so we'd like to collaborate with uh, um, many in the region, but also outside the region. So please contact us if you if you find us interesting. Uh, we have an R&D uh, R council uh, where we uh, take in ideas and projects from other people. I'll tell you a bit more about that later. Uh, so we're working on attracting uh, funding and uh, to the region. Uh, we uh, Our aim is to uh, create a, a good test and demo environment up here, uh, etc. So how do we do this then? So realize our vision uh, to carry out and support. We don't only do um, research our, ourselves. We try to support uh, research and innovation and facilitate upscaling and commercialization. Uh, and promote the innovation system. And here we have, uh, in the three years that I've been at Processum, we have grown from 15 to 30 people. So now we have a chemistry group uh, that takes care of uh, uh, facilitating and upscaling uh, chemistry uh, processes. And the biotechnology group that uh, does the same for biotechnology. And obviously there is a big collaboration there. And also we have uh, an innovation group that Jonas now leads uh, at, that uh, works with uh, promoting the innovation system. Uh, they also they, they, uh, work with uh, creating consortia, uh, networks, uh, uh, this type of events, uh, but also have uh, patent analysis and system analysis to develop a region where uh, valorization of forest raw materials uh, is readily available and smooth to get around. Uh, so the other two groups, uh, to facilitate the upscaling and commercialization of our biorefinery process uh, and to carry out and support the our, uh, research and innovation, we have the chemistry group and we start obviously, we are, have our uh, raw materials in the, in the forest but also on the sites where we have uh, all the uh, site streams, etc., and um, bioorganic chemistry, flow chemistry, process chemistry, and thermochemistry. We have built up tester demo uh, facilities to produce fuels and materials, green chemicals, and uh, the biotechnology. We have uh, pre treatments of uh, uh, various uh, bio biomaterial, uh, raw material. Enzymatic hydrolysis and fermentations are things that we do uh, to reach uh, products like single cell protein, uh, ethanol, lactic acid, and bacterial nanocellulose. Uh, single cell protein uh, is something that we have uh, brought all the way from the lab to demonstration scale. We haven't used it uh, as a material, but we have used it as a feed for fish. Uh, where we address another environmental problem where we are too many people on the, on the planet, <laughs> so we need more food and fish in the oceans are depleting. Uh, here we have, uh, uh, now we, we uh, need to um, uh, grow fish by aquaculture and uh, we feed fish with uh, fish meal and this single cell protein has now been proven to be able to replace fish meal. Uh, and the fish, uh, we, have, we have gone from lab to demonstration scale, collaborated with uh, aquaculture on Iceland, and they have uh, proven that the fish uh, grows as well, or even better, uh, on this single cell protein from wood. 
So we can't eat wood, but we can make food from wood. Uh, and materials uh, is uh, something that we have a uh, trajectory that we have uh, gone into uh, uh, fairly recently, I would say. Uh, but we have the chemistry knowledge, uh, organic chemistry knowledge in-house and the uh, biotechnology in-house. And this is obviously something that uh, is very important for new materials. Uh, we are uh, focusing on new infrastructure and uh, composite materials. We have uh, all cellulose composite materials and uh, plastic uh, cellulose composite materials projects. Uh, CNC and uh, bacterial nanocellulose uh, projects. Uh, another uh, environmental problem that we try to address is plastics in the sea. And here we have uh, uh, a, co uh, a couple of people in, in Sundsvall that are working on a uh, project that we call the paper to replace plastic. We are trying to use uh, uh, traditional uh, process equipment uh, from pulp, uh, from paper industry, to uh, be able to scale this up and find uh, paper with plastic uh, properties. And you can see there, there's a little piece of paper looking like a piece of plastic. Um, the, uh, the quote uh, from Ellen MacArthur, uh, more plastic than fish in the sea by oceans 2050, is quite scary. And this uh, product vision was then uh, replace fossil and non-degradable plastic products with environmentally friendly bio-based degradable products from wood. Uh, paper replaced plastics have uh, uh, formed uh, 3D uh, um, objects, uh, strong paper threads and they uh, uh, do surface treatment of the wood to get plastic, plastic uh, uh, properties. And uh, they also try to uh, take out the um, uh, molds, uh, plastic molds uh, replacements. Uh, Lactic acid, uh, uh, PLA, is a uh, uh, area that we have uh, gone into now. And the challenge is there is to, to make the PLA uh, truly from wood material. And this we have done uh, at Processum in our labs. We have started from a fiber sludge, at the, uh, you can see at the start. And uh, in our biochemistry uh, pilot hall, we have uh, uh, um, uh, produced uh, lactic acid. The biotechnologies have uh, isolated a microorganism that uh, can produce lactic acid very well from wood materials, wood sludge. Uh, and the chemists and the collaboration in the, within the uh, company, uh, the chemists have then uh, taken over, uh, modified, uh, purified, and produced. Uh, PLA from from the uh, wood from the lactic acid produced from wood. Uh, so PLA has been produced at, uh, at processum, and this is obviously something that you do 3D printing with as well. Uh, and you could actually see. I don't know. Those of you involved in the Plus project can probably recognize the person on the in the chemistry lab. Uh, another project that we have uh, uh, dealt with the materials in is uh, 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 wood plastic, uh, uh, plastic wood uh, composite, uh, cellulose composite, uh, and that's where we uh, have involved partners from the entire value chain. And uh, it's been mentioned here earlier that you need to have all these interactions with people that feel things and things, how it should be designed, etc. And I, I thought, thought about this one then, and uh, we are there almost, but not quite. We should have some more collaborators with, with us as well. But we have forest owners, uh, we have the pulp and paper industry with us, we have uh, composite and plastic industry uh, that traditionally work only with plastics, 
and uh, we have end users, uh, and there's also the, the research institutes and a uh, great developer uh, in the project. And we, we are using uh, uh, um, traditional uh, equipment for pulp and papers industries, reviners, where we modify the, the fibers uh, um, at, at the, in the traditional equipment, so it will be easy, will easily scalable when, when we are at the uh, at the, uh, when we're ready, and this is the uh, just a prototype, and I saw it was actually hanging in the in the entrance as well, in the entrance as well. So, so if you're interested in in uh, what we're doing, and if you think uh, that uh, we can, uh, you would like to try something in our uh, um, chemistry pilot. This is a picture of our chemistry pilot where we can do scale up experiments. We have possibilities of doing batch processes, uh, continuous processes, distillations, soxalate extractions, all sorts of things that you can think of. It is a completely ATEX classed uh, area, um, so we can do risk assessments uh, for high pressure and temperature reactions. And we have uh, biochemical pilots, uh, uh, similar, uh, we have from 50, and this is actually where the uh, fish feed uh, protein that I was talking about was uh, developed. Uh, and we have 50 and 600. Obviously, we also have lab small scale uh, equipment. And this is uh, uh, coming back to the first speaker of this session. Uh, we are building new infrastructure and we will uh, soon have a operating uh, nano crystalline nanocellulose pilot plant uh, in Anschutzwick. Uh, and uh, the, uh, it's a collab collaboration between more research, Processor Melodia and Holman. Uh, and it is uh, located in this uh, building of the biorefiner demo plant. Uh, and we will soon be, be wanting to collaborate on a CNC project. So uh, commissioning is underway and uh, we're seeing the light. So I would like to finish off with just uh, letting you know about uh, Processum's R&D Council. Uh, as we say, we, we don't just do research ourselves. We can also be involved with the R&D Council research, but you don't have to. Uh, we promote research uh, and the, the uh, rules for a re uh, uh, receiving funding from us is that it has to be two companies uh, and at least one member company. And if you'd like to collaborate with any of our members, uh, please let us know uh, and we can help you setting up a consortium. Uh, if you have an idea, uh, typically this is for new ideas. Uh, not large projects, but uh, uh, testing testing your idea to then go further with it. And uh, the next opportunity is uh, October, uh, coming October, thirty uh, first of October. Right. Thank you very much, Jonas.